that was a quick one. One, two, and we done. So here we go. We got the Audi. We'll be going up against the runner-up, 16 Angels. Let's get them lined up. Let's see how they do. Alright guys, so for some of y'all that's new to the channel and don't quite understand how my King of the Hill works, I'm going to explain it to you. So basically you have the King and you have the runner-up. In order for any race car to go against the King, it has to beat the runner-up. That way we're not beating and abusing the King. He can stay where he needs to be comfortable and just continue to watch races until it's time for him. To defend his throne so how does it work simple say one of the four challengers like you got here comes in and wins and now they can challenge the runner-up if the new challenger beats the runner-up the runner-up moves off and becomes the new runner-up if the new challenger beats the runner-up and beats the king then the runner-up falls off, the king loses his throne, winner becomes the champ. So then your new runner-up will be the previous king. Simple, simple, simple. Well, guys, the Audi didn't have it. So we're going to say goodbye to the Audi. And let's take a look at the next four for next week. Up first, we got straight pipes. Then we have a uh, Speed Blaster, Xander, Fact Four, and Lakester. Ooh, I mean, I would say this is a tough one to pick from, but you guys know I'm definitely gonna be picking the Xander Fact Four. You guys already know that. That's one of my favorite castings of all time, so I'm just gonna go with it. Whether it's fast or not, I'm going with it. All right, guys, down in the comment section, leave a comment on who do you think will take it and if it will be the runner up and make it to the king. Oh, guess I should have said that, too. Um, I think it's going to beat the runner up, but not beat the king. <laughs> I'm stretching here, but, you know, I got I to gotta do it. So, all right, guys, this is Hot Racer Mike. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.